What's up, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Now, who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, we have Tyson Fury, we have Alexander Usyk, we have the fight breakdown, and I have a prediction for you. Uh, really quick, if you like the videos, please take the time to subscribe to the channel. It just takes one click. And if you could also tell a friend while you're hitting that thumbs up button, it does help, shows love, and it supports the channel. Jumping right into it, we're going to start with resume. What is a better resume? Is it Tyson Fury or is it Alexander Usyk? I would argue, technically, they pretty much, at heavyweight, at heavyweight, pretty much have the same resume. Uh, the biggest name for Tyson Fury is obviously Deontay Wilder, um, one of the most devastating punchers that we've got today, probably in the last, I don't know, maybe 20 years, I'd probably say. And then you have Usyk, who has fought Anthony Joshua who is also a devastating puncher and just a behemoth of a man. So when it comes to resume, I'm going to give it a tie, to be honest with you. But if I really wanted to, I could swing, I could, I could push the pendulum over a little bit for Usyk just because he beat the best of the best at Cruiserweight. So I could easily do that. Not a problem. But at heavyweight, just to be fair, I'm going to say it's a tie. Uh, let's see. Power. Who's got more power? Neither one of these guys are regarded as, you know, heavy punchers or anything like that. But when you look at Tyson Fury, you know, showing up at basically 270 and Alexander Usyk showing up at 233 on the scales, well, obviously it's going to be Tyson Fury that's going to hit harder than Alexander Usyk. However, um, nobody's running in on Alexander Usyk, so I'm not going to say he doesn't hit hard, but no, he doesn't have a ton of knockouts or anything like that. While you look at, um, Tyson Fury... Yeah, he took out Wilder, but Wilder was like, Wilder's a cruiserweight fighting at heavyweight. So it it never really meant much to me that Tyson Fury could take down Deontay Wilder because he should be able to. He's like 40 pounds bigger than him. I don't see any reason why he can't or shouldn't or, or, or didn't if he did not. You know, so that doesn't mean anything to me that he can knock down a, a much, much, much smaller man. Um, but... Neither one of them are regarded for power in this case between the two of them for this bout. Obviously, I would have to go with uh, Tyson Fury just because of his size. However, you know what? Power is not going to play as much a factor as people think it is because Anthony Joshua hits really hard. And Usyk took those punches and AJ was touching him. And Usyk took, took those punches. Usyk didn't go down. Usyk, you know, like he took those punches. So if it, if AJ can't put you down, I don't see how Tyson Fury puts you down. At least not with a punch. Now, if he's going to do his Tyson Fury, would I just lay on you all night? Then yeah, maybe he can do it because he can wear him down and just, you know, strain him out with the weight of his body. But through a punch, I don't see that happening, to be honest with you. AJ can't do it. You certainly can't do it. AJ's fast. AJ is accurate and AJ is a finisher. If AJ can't do it, I don't see how Tyson Fury can put out Usyk. And Usyk is, I don't understand how he's not regarded for having, you know, a granite chin because he gets hit. Derek Chisora hit him. He gets hit. And he, so I don't really know. But I, I would definitely say when it comes to power, um, I'm only giving it to Tyson Fury because he's bigger. Obviously, the likelihood of Usyk knocking out Tyson Fury is very, very, very low. Uh, let's see. Speed. Alexander Usyk. Hands down. Alexander Usyk. Uh, his hands, his feet. It doesn't matter. Alexander Usyk. I understand why Alexander Usyk came in at 233. If I were, like, let's just say if I was associated with his, uh, his camp and his team, I would say 225. At best, 220. Your speed is going to be one of your greatest attributes because you don't want to be bigger and sluggish uh, with this much, much bigger guy especially in the latter rounds. I think speed is going to be a huge part and portion of this fight and leading to a a, uh, a victory against Tyson Fury. Uh, but hands down, Alexander Usyk when it comes to speed. Heart, who's got more heart? Listen, Tyson Fury's been down several times. You you cannot take the, the heart away from uh, Tyson Fury. He's been down several times. If there's one thing I can say the Gypsy King is aware of, he's aware of the size of his heart. And I think his heart is just as big as he is. Um, however, when you look at Alexander Usyk, you got to give him props. You have to give him props because look what he's doing. He's taking on these big these big dudes. Like These are some big guys. Anthony Joshua is a big guy. 
Like, Tyson Fury is a big guy. Derek Chisora is a big guy. You know, just to be in the realm of the Giants, heavyweight is different. Getting hit by heavyweight is different. You know, so you have to give him props for that. Um, I'm going to say it's a tie for mental toughness because, yes, Tyson Fury has been down several times. However, there's always some type of controversy attached to Tyson Fury. There's never been any controversy attached to Alexander Usyk, ever. And no steroid use, no um, tricks in the ring, no tricks with the gloves, no tricks with the camps, no, no, no trickery at all. Alexander Usyk is, is a man of his word, and he's, he's an honorable guy. Um, there's nothing anybody can say bad about Alexander Usyk, including myself. In which case, when it comes to mental toughness, I'm just going to give this one a tie as well. Um, I can't take the fact that um, Tyson Fury got up. You got to give him credit for that. So that's why it's going to be a tie. Boxing IQ. Now, here's where it gets funny. Because it's basically, well, you know what? This is tough. But I'm going to say it again. Alexander Usyk is, is yeah, you're going to say Tyson Fury is the lady champ and all that. That's cute. That's fine. But Alexander Usyk did it in two weight classes. And he's stayed the course. He didn't take any breaks. He didn't take any breaks. He was looking to fight anybody who was considered the best. Anybody who's considered number one. Anybody who has the belt. That's the guy he's been going after all his career. Very successful cruiserweight. Arguably one of the most, if not the most successful, I'll just say second to uh, maybe Evander Holyfield. That's about it. There's Alexander Usyk. Then he goes up to heavyweight and he's dominant. He's dominant. Like, I'm sorry. So listen, boxing IQ. Yeah. Uh, the Francis Ngannou fight with uh, Tyson Fury was was a little shocking. I don't care if they say he came in out of shape. It doesn't matter to me. Um, Francis Ngannou should, have, should not have done that to Tyson Fury. He should have not have done that. He not, I'm not saying he should have he should not have gone the whole distance because again Tyson Fury doesn't hit very hard, but. It should have been a boxing clinic. It literally should have been um, the ABCs of boxing in that ring that night. That's what it should have been. And it wasn't that. It was actually competitive. And arguably, you could, someone can make the case that Ngannou won. That should have never happened. Ngannou should have never been able to put Tyson Fury down. You got to give boxing IQ to, you, to uh, Usyk. Because as big as Francis Ngannou is, he wouldn't do that to Usyk. And I don't care how small Usyk is. Francis Ngannou would not do that to Alexander Usyk. Not on no day. He wouldn't be able to catch Usyk. And he definitely wouldn't be able to put him down. So I'm going to give uh, Boxing IQ to Alexander Usyk. Just, and I am saying it solely because of that, that Francis Ngannou fight. Not cool. Not a good look for Tyson Fury. Uh, versatility. Who's more versatile? So Tyson does have a lot of ways to beat a guy. Um... He can move around, and, and his agility for his size is, like, mind-blowing. And his cardio for his size is mind-blowing. And then when you couple them together, that's mind-blowing. And then he can punch. Then he can fight. He can actually fight. And he, it's also mind-blowing that he can fight on the inside. With those long arms, he can fight on the inside with short shots. That's mind-blowing that he can do that, you know. So that just shows how versatile he is. But he can also fight you on the outside. He can also fight you mentally. Look at what he did to Vladimir Klitschko. You know, so you have to give him credit for these things. But at the same time, Alexander Usyk, he fought up close and personal with Joshua. He, like, he'll do whatever. Let's, Usyk is fighting at heavyweight. Does, he, doesn't, he never gets an opportunity to dictate what goes on in the ring in terms of how we proceed in the ring tonight. Because he's the much, much, much smaller guy. Um, but he meshes well with Styles. He meshes well with Styles. You had Derek Trezora, who was just a bull, and he meshed well with that style. He was the matter to that night. Then you had AJ, who decided, you know, I'm going to try to box this guy. I'm just going to use this jab. And he outboxed him. When he tried to fight, he outfought him. 
You know, like, I mean, this might be another, another, um, I don't know. This could simply just be a whole bunch of ties going, because it's hard to say. You know, we, we've seen uh, Tyson Fury get caught up in the, with Otto Wallen and, you know, how slippery he was, just moving shot. Again, this is a massive dude, 270, doing things like that. You got to give him credit for versatility. But at the same time, there's no way you can't take that credit from Alexander Usyk because this whole game is built on versatility. This whole game is built on outsmarting his opponent. This whole game is built on speed and volume of punches. So versatility is going to be a tie as well. Um, best range. What's the best range for both guys? Uh, honestly, when it comes to Tyson Fury, the best range, I would say, if he's up close and personal and he smothers Usyk. That would be the best range for this fight, this particular fight, because you're dealing with a much smaller guy and also a guy who's going to be a lot more mobile than you are. So obviously you want to slow him down. So I would say up close and personal, just smother him, lay on him, put your weight on him, and then frustrate him. And then just beat him up with short shots. While you look at Alexander Usyk, I, clearly the goal would be to stay on the outside. Clearly the goal would be to jab. Clearly the goal would be to, to, to punch to the body you know, and some straight punches to the body, put some momentum behind those punches and really dig it in. Um, but also be elusive, stay elusive, stay in the back foot. Don't get caught up in any corners. Don't get caught up in that rope. Um, that would be the tactics that I would get uh, Alexander Usyk. So the best range for him would be in the outside. Why, if I'm with Tyson Fury and I'm assuming, you know, they're, the game plan is very simple. Lean on him. Basically do to him what you did to Wilder. And just and just exasperate his legs. Uh, let's see. Defense. What was a better defense? Um, I think Tyson Fury does have better defense than, than uh, Alexander Usyk. Tyson Fury has great head movement. And like I said, he can move around. He can, he can actually dance in the ring. Um, he has great cardio, in which case he can do that for 12 rounds. Believe it or not, not a problem. Um, you know, you have Alexander Usyk. I just think a lot of times he's throwing so many punches. In a sense, your his offense is his defense. In a sense, he's also a great counter puncher uh, to add to his defense. Um, but he doesn't do anything special. I don't think his head movement is anything to marvel at. I feel like it was at cruiserweight, but at heavyweight, I really don't feel like that. And it could just simply be that they're so much slower than the guys at cruiserweight that he can just see stuff coming. You know, it could simply just be that. But he uses his legs a lot, so if he's just not there, that's basically his defense. So I would still give it to Tyson Fury. I feel like he has more ways of being defensive than Alexander Usyk at heavyweight. Um, cardio. It's a tie. It's a tie. Because both guys can fight for, for, for 12 rounds. Um, so it's a tie. Um, the way, because Tyson's going to morph throughout the fight. He's going to try this. He's going to try that. He's going to try to box. He's going to try to rough house. He's going to try to to brawl. Um, he's going to try to wrestle. Um, he's going to do a whole lot of wrestling, especially uh, not even wrestling, manhandling. You're dealing with a much smaller guy. You being saying not to. Why not take advantage of the fact that, that you outmuscle him? Uh, you outsize him. You might as well use it and utilize that and make that a tool and a weapon during the duration of the fight. While you have Alexander Usyk, like I said, he's got legs and he's got a ton of punches. He throws a lot of punches throughout the throughout the rounds and got to give it a tie. Again, I got to give it a tie. Durability, Tyson Fury. <laughs> because Let's just say you put him down. You better believe Tyson Fury is getting back up. You put Usyk down. I don't know. You know, he's. I don't feel like he's been in the same sticky situations that Tyson Fury has been in. So I don't know. But I can tell you this. You put Tyson Fury down, he's getting up. If you cut Tyson Fury, he's going to battle through it. That's what I know. That's what we've seen. And I'm not saying that Usyk can't do it or won't do it because Usyk has shown that he's nothing but a stud. It has been nothing but a stud throughout the duration of his career. But he's never had to go through the adversity that Tyson Fury's had to go through. Tyson Fury's been down several times. He's faced the most devastating puncher of probably the last 20 years. And he got up every single time. While there were other people, like Spielka, who got hit by Deontay Wilder and was carried out of the ring. Gotta give it to Tyson Fury. Um, my final thoughts on this fight, because um, I just have a bunch of ties, to be honest with you, going down. My final thoughts... 
or prediction. Um, I'm not counting Alexander Usyk out. This is my ace in the hole, why I'm, I'm going with Alexander Usyk. Yes, it's hard to go against Tyson Fury. He's 270 pounds. So it's hard to go against him. Like, it, it's, 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 it's almost ludicrous to, to bet against him. I get it. But at the same time, Anthony Joshua, who is a real finisher, a real dog. Yeah, Deontay Wilder hits hard. Deontay Wilder only has one hand and one punch. AJ doesn't. He has both hands. He can finish people, and he finishes guys. He hits very hard. He brings pressure. If Anthony Joshua can't get Alexander Usyk out of there, I just don't see how Tyson Fury does it. And Alexander Usyk is a very intelligent guy. He's a true student of the game. He's a supersized version of Lomachenko. And it's hard to go against Lomachenko, but it's even harder to go against Alexander Usyk. He has more credit to his name. It's just hard to go against him. Um, I love the Gypsy King, but I'm going with Alexander Usyk on this one.